I go in my room and I put on ESPN and I, like I didn't even know where Connecticut was. And for some reason, I just religiously watched it. My mom really wanted me to stay home and go to UCLA, but at the end of the day, it was something I had to do for myself. When I went on my recruiting trip, we get there at night. My mom's like, there's no street lights here. There's, there's no traffic here. Like, where, where, where are they taking me? Like, there's no people. I'm like, mom, it's the middle of the night. Like, people are sleeping. But then when we woke up, it was probably more of a culture shock. Kind of in the middle of the forest, from Connecticut. It was being in a different country. And when you're a recruit at Connecticut, you always go to dinner to Coach Orima's house. So I actually drove to uh, Coach Rima's house and Sue's white Camry. She had the CD Walkman with the tape they used to plug in. And you can't quite call it when you meet Sue for the first time. You know, you really don't know if she likes you, she wants to be around you, doesn't want to be around you, and I'm kind of like the complete opposite. Now, we're talking about confidence. There's not many 17-year-olds who are going on their recruiting trip and just like jumping in the middle of the circle on the dance floor at a college bar, but that was D which was probably <laughs> frightening for her. Yeah, I don't even know if I liked her either. Um, no, I'm joking. She's incredibly charismatic, infectious, and right away, that you caught on to that. You know, she's very serious. She's very intelligent when it comes to the things that she says and when she says them. And I was a freshman, so I was probably out of my mind in a lot of things I said. But the first week in Connecticut, in a lot of ways, it was learning a new language, new food, different cultures. People were like, what are you, Cuban, Dominican? I was like, what are these people talking about? It's those awkward times where you're trying to figure out who you are, and then you throw in being on the basketball team, which we all know at Connecticut, it's like you're part of the Beatles. So there's this extra added pressure. You know, Dee came in, like, just has, like, a looseness about her, like, doing her thing, flashy. And Coach, that did not, Coach Ramon, that did not, like, they did not vibe in that way. It was, like, too loose. And practices are hard. So Dee did have a very tough freshman year. Ball pressure! Get the hand out! God, he was just so hard on me. There was not one day where he would just let me, you know, slack off or make a mistake and not hear about it. If he put you in these situations that were impossible to win, you know, uh, we're gonna go three on five. I'm like, there's five defenders and we're never gonna win. Felt like I couldn't keep up. And, you know, I didn't play a lot my freshman year. I was deep in the bench. I was watching a lot, wanting to play and not knowing how to get on the court. When you see yourself in that position where you're just not figuring it out, there was days where I was really miserable. I didn't know if I was going to ever get out of this kind of black hole that I was in. And, you know, Sue was always right there helping me and, and making sure of the things that I needed to learn pretty quickly. Another three for number three. And a lot of it was you have to learn how to be a good teammate. You have to learn how to work hard. It was these skills that set you apart. She could easily not help me, which is the case for a lot of people. One of the bigger jumps is from high school to college, because now you're surrounded by all these people who are state champs, all these people who are MVPs. You're not special. And yet, she always just came across like, that I belong here, this is what I do, and clearly she was right. <laughs> 39 and 0, Connecticut is perfect. The Connecticut Huskies win three national championships in a row. Tarasi will be the newest member of the Mercury. She's standing at the corner of destiny and history. Tarasi for the record! You know, I spent my whole life playing basketball. And sometimes I think, well, what if I would have played soccer? Um, but I guess I made the right decision. We'll never know. Ha <laughs>